Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Stormworks and in this one we're switching it up a little bit so I am still kind of working on getting the lifting body onto the workshop but in the time being this is the uh, little tank project that I talked about in a couple of the episodes back so that's kind of what we're working on here. So I got this cargo container in the build space and I've kind of modified it a little bit and so we're just gonna build a tank drone that fits in this so originally I was gonna go with tracks but uh, it, it seems like they don't quite fit in there well so I'm gonna switch it up and we're gonna change it over to wheels see if that kind of works better for us but yeah that's kind of the game plan for today we are gonna be making an airdroppable drone tank so um, nothing too complicated too fancy i will try to talk a little bit about how to do the radios and all that kind of stuff if you guys are new to the game and want some help with that but uh other than that yeah that's kind of going to be the goal for today we're just going to be building a remote controlled tank and it's going to be really small we got to make sure it's got a parachute on it and whatnot um, but yeah, I think it turns out pretty well. We're going to end up putting some heavy auto cannons on it and whatnot. But uh, yeah, for the meantime, I guess just sit back, relax, enjoy. This is probably only going to be a one part video. Um, and then, you know, like I said earlier in the video, I'm going to try to get that uh, the lifting body onto the workshop as soon as possible. This is technically for the lifting body, um, but you don't need the lifting body to use it. So I'll also work on getting this on the workshop. I just, I've kind of been busy with personal life things lately. So I'm trying to just squeeze things in when I can, but wanted to make sure you guys got a video at least. So here we are. I'm going to quit the yip yapping and uh, you know, if you like this series, you guys like the, uh, the drone, you like the tank, you like the plane, whatever. Um, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps me out, helps, uh, helps the channel out a bunch, but yeah, I'm going to quit yapping. I'm going to give you guys um, a little bit of time lapse and then we will call or we will come back in and talk about what we have worked on.
All right, well, we got some, some good building done. So I went with the default engine on this one just because it's a little bit simpler and we won't really need as much microcontroller space and whatnot. Plus, you know, I wanted this to be relatively lag free. So um, we're gonna try to keep the physics bodies down on this guy. It's not gonna have a turret ring or anything like that. You're just gonna kind of steer it by moving the wheels around. But uh, yeah, that's kind of the idea. <clears throat> I guess you can't, I don't know if you really can call it a tank cause we, uh, we have wheels, but uh, you know, um, I think this is working pretty well. You guys can see in the background, it's driving around pretty well. So we've got all that sorted. I wanted to make sure it kind of ran correctly and drove well before we get it or started getting into the remote control stuff, which really isn't too bad to do guys, especially since they added the composite to uh, the seats. But um, yeah, that's kind of the next step. So we got to get a body on this thing. It fits nice. This is about the dimensions that I want. And it's basically just going to be here as, um, Kind of an anti-vehicle uh, drone, but also kind of like a squad support drone. So we're going to get a bunch of seats on this thing too, so you can kind of transport squads around. Um, but the next thing we got to do is we've got to move this into the container, see how much space we have, and then we've got to kind of build a control station. So I am not going to add a generator or anything to this cargo container. So you could run it off of, um, you know, a generator if you hook it up to a cable or whatnot, um, or just turn infinite electric on, or, um, I mean, if you really want, you could probably just hook it up to a bunch of batteries, but I didn't want to add a generator to this thing just because, um, you know, if it's going in the AWACS, then we don't need it. There's power on board that we can get through the connectors, but also, um, it's just kind of, it just simplifies everything quite a bit more. So that was one of the main goals with this again, and we are not necessarily going to like detail out this, the interior of this container in this video. I'll do that off camera. Um, and that way I don't really have to bore you guys and whatnot, but yeah. So right now I am just trying to figure out a place that we can kind of stick all of the logic and our radios. And then we're also going to have a big screen and, uh, one of the new, um, what are they, the, the viewing ports or, um, viewing lens, whatever, whatever they're called. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about, but yeah, we'll definitely have one of those too. And that's so much nicer for the drones. The, uh, the resolution really, really makes them a lot easier and more enjoyable to use. So that's kind of the game plan. Um, it's not going to be locked onto a set channel. You guys will be able to kind of customize the channel that it's on. So we'll kind of get into that in a little bit later down the road on this episode. Um, but essentially what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it one input and that it'll, um, kind of change the outputs. So essentially the, the tank is going to connect to the cargo container with a hard point. So we'll send data through that hard point to change the channel, the radio channels on the drone. And all you got to do is put in one number and it will change all three radios. So probably a good time to mention while we're doing boring microcontroller stuff in the background. Um, if you want to follow along with the microcontroller stuff, guys, this is how I'm going to do the uh, receiver on the drone. So that's kind of what we're working on, but that's not really that complicated. Um, while we're doing this, I might as well mention, you know, we're almost done with our um, AWACS and we're almost also done with the oil rig. Well, not, not almost, but there's a little bit, a lot less to do on that than there, there was originally. Anyways, um, with that being said, I kind of need some new build ideas. So, um, you know, I have started a new build. It's going to be a frigate. I think you guys will really like it. I think it looks absolutely amazing. But, um, you know, other than that, we do need a second build idea. So I was thinking, I was kind of playing around with the idea of doing like a series of construction equipment just because I think that that's fun and construction equipment is cool. But uh, yeah, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and what you would like to see. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I know we have the sailing update coming out and whatnot. I will say, if you guys are going to make a suggestion, um, you know, it's, it's, it's got to be something that I'm interested in building. And just to be bluntly honest with you guys, I'm not really interested in doing recreations, and I'm also not really interested in doing um, classical vehicles. Pretty much everything I, I like to do is modern or um, kind of along those lines, relatively modern. And I really like doing kind of industrial, commercial kind of things. So, um, you know, I'm I, I'm not really your guy for yachts. If you uh, if you want, <laughs> there's a lot of other really really good yacht builders out in the Stormworks community. I know um, Pingu, he's in our server. Uh, definitely check him out if you haven't. He's got a YouTube. But uh, yeah. So if you guys have any suggestions that kind of follow those criteria, I guess let me know. And uh, you know, I'm I'm open to suggestions, but you know, I can't guarantee you anything. And and again, I don't really want to make a recreation of anything. It's just not really my style. 
Um, there's plenty of people that do that and I'd rather just kind of make something that's new and fresh and, uh, yeah, it's just kind of what I prefer to do, but yeah, enough of that. I'm kind of ranting on about that. Um, we are almost done with the two builds work we got going on right now. So we do need to get some brainstorming done and I've got to figure out what the next couple of things to build on the channel are. So, um, the frigate will probably take a little bit longer. It is a pretty good size ship. It's not absolutely massive, but it's also not very small. And uh, I plan on making that thing quite detailed. But yeah, enough of that. It, like I said, if you guys have any ideas, just let me know down below. I try to respond to all your guys' comments. And uh, if if I don't, you know, also check out our Discord. There, that's a pretty good place to uh, kind of, you know, make some friends, talk about Stormworks. There's also a video suggestions channel in the Discord. So uh, if you guys you know, don't want to put it in the YouTube comment or whatnot, definitely let me know there too. But anyways, we're, uh, we're on working on the body of this thing and it's going to be relatively simple. Like I said, I'm going to keep it quite small, generally speaking, as small as I possibly can, um, just so it fits in the cargo container and it's not too heavy. It's kind of easy to move around. The, the idea is that it's, you know, this is for the AWACS, but it isn't, going to need the AWACS to use. So I want it to be small and portable for you guys to use. You know, if you want to put this on the back of a truck or something, that's doable. So basically the only goal is that it's going to fit in this unmodified um, cargo container. And so that's kind of what we're working on. And I messed around with the guns a lot right now. I'm still kind of doing that, but we end up going with dual heavy auto cannons. It will, they will each have their own ammo can. So I think that that is... 20 rounds each so it might be 40 rounds i could be wrong but yeah that's kind of the game plan is we're just going to go for this um non-rotating but pitchable um dual heavy auto cannon and that way we don't have to have the turret ring and kind of saves us on some controls which is nice especially with the drones it's uh, pretty easy to get a low, little overboard with the amount of controls they have pretty quickly
All right, well, I did a little bit of detailing off camera, so um, we're back. You guys can kind of see that there's some stuff that's changed with the uh, the drone and whatnot, but yeah, we're just gonna detail it up a little bit. I did get our fuel port hooked up and an electric port hooked up as well as a couple seats. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's pretty much done shape-wise. There is not really all that much more to do. We uh, will fill in this top section a little bit more to kind of protect that microcontroller. But yeah, that's kind of the uh, the tank or drone or whatever you want to call it that we're going for. And if you want to know, um, it's kind of funny where I got the idea for this. If uh, you guys, some of the older viewers might remember if you were into playing COD when you were younger, um, I think it was Black Ops 2 in one of the campaigns, they had like a mission with something like this that fit in a cargo container. And that's kind of where I got the idea. Um, I can't really, I don't remember it too well. So I'm just kind of speaking vaguely, but if you guys remember what that is, let me know. Um, but yeah, it's definitely from one of the black ops campaigns. And essentially they, they have like this little tank drone that comes out of a cargo container. It's got the control station in there and whatnot. It's super cool. So that's kind of where, uh, and that's kind of where I got the idea for, sorry, I almost knocked something over. Um, but yeah, that's where I got the idea for it. I thought it would be really neat. And also this is a really easy way to kind of add more firepower to the AWACS without, um, kind of changing the design of it if that makes sense so um that along with some of the the weapons that i made for it like the uh the hard points you can put more tv missiles on you can put uh, cluster munitions in the uh the cargo bay all that kind of stuff so um i just wanted you guys to have kind of more weapon options if you wanted to play with this and that was kind of the goal with this thing so this will probably i'm probably not going to make more drones than this but um this is just a fun little addition that i thought you guys would enjoy and it was also a fun little project for me to kind of take a break from bigger things with so but yeah that is pretty much all we're gonna do in this episode so like I said, I will get to detailing the cargo container and a couple other things later on, but I didn't want to make this, you know, like three or four parts. So I just wanted to get most of the building it done in one video. When I go to, I still haven't recorded the, the gameplay video for the AWACS for the workshop, but when I go to do that, I will try to include this and or one of the cluster bombs just so you guys can kind of get a feel for how all that works. But you know, um, like I said, this was kind of more of just a, a fun little thing to do on the side. So um, I'm going to add a HUD and, you know, that'll be in the viewing port. And so I'm going to do a lot of that off camera just because it's Lua work and it'll be relatively simple. I'm not going to make anything too complicated. We're not going to get into radars or anything like that. I'm just going to give a, a simple heads up display, um, you know, an ammo count, a fuel count, a crosshair, a couple other little minor things but yeah that's pretty much all we've got for today's episode so if you stayed to the end thank you so much i really appreciate it helps the channel out a bunch and uh you know i just if if you guys weren't watching then i probably wouldn't be doing as much so um you guys definitely help to kind of speed the builds up and and that's pretty awesome but i uh, can't wait to start our new project if you guys have any suggestions let me know down below um, like I said, that's all I got for this one and I will catch you in the next one. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day.